Hey, welcome back everyone. So today's product review is an Arteric shirt called the Eris. I don't know if I'm saying that right. E-R-I-S, Eris, maybe? I think, I think that's how I say it. Anyway, this is it. I'm wearing the white one. It's pretty good. It's pretty comfortable. I just did the video on the Captive shirt by Arteryx. Very similar design. This one's got a little bit more of a polyester blend, so it's a cotton polyester. But otherwise, it's very similar. Some of the difference between this and the Captive, I would say, is the shoulder design. So it's got this distinctive bit of material here, which makes the shoulder fit a little bit different. And actually, I like the Captive. I'm a big fan of that shirt. But this one actually feels even better. So I might return my Captive and get a blue one of this, of the Eris. Uh, such a weird name. I, can, I don't know why I have a problem with saying that. But anyway, I kind of like the shoulder part of this more. And the other difference that I find between this and the Captive, both are cotton blend shirts, which I was looking for, is that they have the logo on the arm here for Arteryx on the Eris. On the Captive, they only have a very small logo kind of on the very bottom of the shirt. You'd never see it if you, if you were not looking for it. So if you want the Arteryx logo, which I think a lot of people do because it's a sign of quality, you're not going to get it on the Captive, but you will get it on the Eris shirt, which is what I'm wearing right now. So there's that. Also, this shirt has a little bit more of a silky feel to it, and I think that that is due to the higher blend of polyester. If you don't like polyester, this may not be the shirt for you. I'm kind of on the fence with polyester. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's not always the most breathable kind of feeling as well, but this kind of works, and I think the blend is quite nice. The collar, I find the collar is not quite as nice as the Captive. It just doesn't seem to fit, and maybe that's just because it's a new shirt and I need to wash it a few times or something, but it's it's not too bad. It, this is a white version too, so it, it kind of comes across as a little more formal. I think it makes me look a little chalky. I don't know, you tell me, maybe, maybe it doesn't. But I'm always kind of on the fence with white shirts. It, it, it's kind of nice in many ways, looks clean. If I do this up, this top button here, let's take a look at that. How do you like that? That's a little bit more grade school, right? But uh, if I want to relax at the beach, okay, there we go. How's that? Uh, so yeah, it's, it fits me fairly well. This is a regular, or a, sorry, a medium. I'm 5'9", 175 pounds. And so if you're around that, I think this is gonna work for you. The length, it's a little bit longer than the Captive. I think it's a, like at least an inch or two longer. So if you're wearing this outside of your pants, and I, that's what I would recommend. If you tuck it in, you're gonna look a little dorky. But, um, sorry. But um, yeah, so I think it's a little bit longer, but I don't think it's excessive. So I think the, the fit is pretty good that way. I probably would have brought it up by an inch, Arteryx, if you do this one again, maybe cut an inch off the bottom, that'd be, that'd be perfect. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good. The fit is nice, the feel is good, right? It doesn't cause me any, any constraint at all. As I was talking about in the captive, right, I got a little nipple action there, which is kind of, I feel a little bit uh, weird about. The white really makes them pop, so that's something to think about if you're a little bit shy that way like I am. But uh, yeah, let me show you the back here with the collar. Not too bad, feels pretty good, like all their stuff, or most of their stuff, feels pretty good quality. So I think I'll probably keep this shirt. I wanna kind of play around with it and see if I, how much I like it. With this one, some of the things I don't return, I give it to my kids to wear. This could be one of them, but, uh, but I, think I, I think I'll like it. I think I'll grow into it. It feels good. I think when you're comparing the Captive with the Eris, hopefully I'm saying that right, they're very close. I think some of the differences is the length. This is a little bit longer. The buttons are a little bit different. So this one has steel buttons, whereas the Captive has plastic buttons. And I think that actually makes a difference. I kind of like the feel of the steel a little better. You can hear the snap. Let me stop talking. You sh yeah, you hear that? It's, to me, that's satisfying. To me, that feels like quality. The plastic buttons are kind of like mush when you push them together a little bit. I don't really like plastic buttons, okay? So that's, that's me. So this shirt is a little bit better that way. I also think the shoulders are a little bit better on this shirt. The blend is different, so that's a big thing. If you're not a fan of polyester, this may not be the shirt for you. Check out the Captive. And if you're a little taller than me, but you're the similar type of weight, then I think the extra length of this shirt could actually be beneficial for you as well. 
So yeah, there's that. I think I'm gonna keep both. I like both. I think they did a good job. If you're looking for a cotton shirt by Arteryx, I think either the Captive or the Heiress could work well for you. And hopefully this comparison has helped you out a little bit. If you have either one of those two shirts, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate your insights into that. And I'm sure all the viewers would as well. So thank you very much. Happy trails. Mm -hmm.